Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got a bit of a different video for you. We're going to be taking a deep dive into the MCDU of the Phoenix A320. Now before we get started I do want to point out I'm not a real pilot. I'm going to show you how I use the MCDU. There's a quick way and a long way. We're going to be starting with the long way, but I'll leave the timestamp in the description if you want to, to skip ahead slightly. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you come down to the MCDU is you're going to want to press the init page. Now this will bring up the init A page. Now this first field, the company route, that can be used to slot a flight in from a company database. Now we don't really have that very well in the sim and as this is the long way we don't need to use it anyway. So we're going to start up here with the from to page. Now looking at our flight plan that we've generated today, we're on the ground here in Madeira and we're going to be programming a route back to Gatwick. So we're going to start by putting in Madeira which is Lima Papa Mike Alpha. And then we're going to put the slash in so it's the same format here and then Gatwick. Echo Golf Kilo Kilo and that will go in there like so. Now as you can see because we've manually entered one in the company route and the alternate company route are populate themselves. A flight number this is no big deal you can really just put whatever you want in there so I'm just gonna put the one that I've generated with the flight plan which is gonna be easy 145. The cost index is going to be 5 and the cruising flight level initially is going to be flight level 340. And we'll pop that in there. And that's your A page done. Now as we're getting into this video, I'll be making a lot of references to the OFP or the flight plan. This is not a tutorial on how to read a flight plan. If you would like that video, leave a comment and like and we'll see what we can do for you. So once you're in the A page is done, we're going to click on the F plan, the flight plan button, and that will bring us to the flight plan page. Now, we're going to click on the departure, so Lima Papa Mike Alpha, we're going to click departure again, select the runway, which the flight plan is telling me runway 05, and we're going to select our arrival, which appears to be the Degen 1 Echo, so this first one. If you do need to scroll through this list, you can use the up and down arrow keys as follows. Do bear in mind they are inverted, so down goes, so up goes down and down goes up. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. And so whilst everything's in yellow, we're going to hit temporary insert. And that will have put itself in there. And that is the departure, the standard instrument departure put in. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you get the last waypoint in that departure. There'll be flight plan discontinuity and then the arrival airport. You're going to click on the last waypoint and the next waypoint is going to be roller. So we're going to pop that in there and it will bring you to this page. Then you're going to click next to roller and pop the next waypoint in and so on and so forth so I'm just going to speed through that and fill the rest of the route in now you'll see on the flight plan route after Rev2 we have something that's listed as Instead of being the DCT or direct as it has been before, we have something that's Uniform Papa 88. Now that is an airway, so that's slightly different. So we're going to click next to Rev2, which is the last waypoint we've put in. And we're going to come down here and we're going to click next to Airways. Now we get a via, so it's going to be via Uniform Papa 88. Now for the direct, you don't need to do anything as it's just a straight fix. Whereas this is a bit more precise. Then we're going to pop the last waypoint in. Va Vasux. Like so. And now we're just going to hit temporary insert. And that will all go in through there. Now the reason we've stopped here whilst there's more to go. Is that then there is our arrival. Our, our standard instrument arrival. So we're going to click on the Arrival Airport, Echo Golf Kilo Kilo. We're going to go to Arrival. 
and we're going to find the approach we want which is going to be the ILS for 08 right so just the first one for us and then we're going to once again use the arrow keys to find our arrival which is the Vasux 1 Golf which will probably be at the one at right at the bottom there we go we're going to hit insert now if you scroll down you should find you may find depending on the airport and the approach that you will get a discontinuity somewhere down here partially along the vas the arrival and before you get to the actual ILS you don't have to worry about this you can get rid of it if you want to I'll show you how to do that in a second but all that is is at that point you'll probably get vectored by ATC if you're not using something like VATSIM then I would recommend getting rid of it or leaving it in and vectoring yourself it's really up to you so we can actually check that we've put that in correctly so if I just come to flight plan here so we start at the top and we come up to the EFIS and switch it onto plan mode you'll see that things get slightly different on there now if you use the arrow keys to move along you'll see that we move along the route and you can check that it's all there and functioning correctly like so now you'll see here that in the vicinity of Gatwick this is where we have that flight plan discontinuity between Willow and Charlie Foxtrot 08 right so this is where the vectors would come in from air traffic control to bring you onto that approach now if you don't have ATC what you can do is coming back down here you can just press clear so that it appears in the scratch pad at the bottom and just put that in there and then temporary insert and that will all go green again and now you will see that before where we had a gap it has now drawn a straight line between the two albeit adding in this curve to account, account for the flight path so once your flight plan has been inserted you're going to come down here to the SEC F plan or secondary flight plan page now this is where you have the opportunity to put in another flight plan so this could be a flight plan to your alternate airport whichever that might be or in most cases what we're going to do here is we're just going to copy the active and that will populate in here and that way we can make changes on the fly and see what something would look like if we wanted to switch to this so with secondary flight plan done we're going to come to the init page and we're going to go across to init B now there's only three figures you need to fill in here and it's these three the zero fuel weight zero fuel weight CG and the block fuel so we're gonna go over to the Phoenix's MFD here and we're gonna come to mass and balance now it's got the planned weights in because I've imported the flight plan from Simbrief we're gonna load the aircraft quickly so that it's as so so these are the numbers here the numbers you want are the zero fuel weight which in this case is 62.8 I'm just going to make a quick note of that 62.8 and the zero fuel weight CG which is 29.8 and I almost forgot the block fuel is this number here what's what's in the tank so it's going to be 11.4 tons so now we come down to the MCDU we have 62.8 and we'll put that slash in again just to keep the formatting then we have 29.8 and we'll pop that in the top there and then of course the fuel is 11.4 and that will then if you give it a second it should populate like so from there you're going to come to the radio page now this is where it gets a bit nerdy you don't have to do this step but this is where you can set the radios the the VOR frequencies to a local VOR something that just makes sense for your route and last but not least the performance page which is the departure performance now on the Phoenix it's very simple we're going to come over to the tablet we're gonna to go to the home page departure performance we're going to select our runway which is already done we're going to sync the load sheet for those figures there set it up as you want it we'll sync the live weather and we will calculate it and it will give us the figures here so we've got v1 at 133 rotate at 135 and v2 at 139 now you can put this in all yourselves what i like to do is just press send to mcdu 
and that will populate it down here. You can just cross-reference, but then you are good to go. So there was the long method. Now I'm going to show you the really quick one. Um, this only works if you have a SimBrief account. If you don't, I'll leave a link in the description. It's free, it's made for flight planning, it's brilliant. I, I cannot recommend it enough. Now to get this to work in the Phoenix, you need to come over to the tablet here, come to settings, and fill in the SimBrief information here. I would blurred mine, but you just fill in your SimBrief username, and it will... That, that's all you need to do in terms of settings. Then you're going to come to the Phoenix app, tap to import from SimBrief, and it should just bring your flight in like so. Now we're going to go to mass and balance. We're going to load the aircraft however you wish to do it. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do it instantly. And now we're going to come down to the MCDU. We're going to go to Atsu, AOC menu, flight in it and in it data request. Now it will take a second to do this and just like that it has all our information there. Now we're going to go to the init A page, we're going to do init request and it will pull that information we have just created. Like so. And now we're going to fill in our information that's not been populated just yet. We've got the flight number which in this case is easy 145 Our cost index, which is 5, and our cruising flight level, which initially is flight level 340. Now we're going to go to flight plan. You'll see that the main body of the route has been inputted, but the approach and the departure aren't in there. So we're going to go to departure here, pick runway 05, and our standard instrument departure. And we'll insert that the same way we did before. And scrolling down, we'll go to the approach, click arrival, select ILS for 08 right, as that's the approach we want to shoot. And then we'll find our star, which is here. And we can again, temporary insert, and that will populate that. Moving through, secondary flight plan, we're going to copy the active. Going back to the init B page, using the arrow to go across. Here we're going to come over to the iPad once again. And we're going to click send to MCDU. And that should go green to success. You'll see that all the information is here. Once again, checking our radios are just set to something sensible. At the moment they're not, but you fill that in however you want to and performance we're going to repeat the steps before we're going to come over here go to the home page we're going to go to departure performance sync the load sheet sync live weather calculate and once again send to mcdu those figures will come through and there you have it an mcdu programmed in probably less than a minute. Now I just want to say once again that that is how I do it. Um, I could be wrong and have made a million mistakes but it works for me. I can fly on that sim and if you spot anything you think I'm doing wrong feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. We're all here to learn. As I've said if you want a tutorial on how to read a flight plan or any more tutorials on the Phoenix A320 do let me know. We can certainly do those for you. I've had quite a lot of fun making this one. But otherwise, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. All the links to Patreon, Instagram, all the cool stuff are in the description, as well as the full route and links to SimBrief if you need it. That being said, I will catch you in the live streams, in the comments, and in the other videos. Thank you very, very much for watching. Goodbye.